How's life, y'all? Today we're gonna talk about the GMRS Rocky Talkie 5 watt radio. Current retail for this radio is 165 each coming up at 330 for the pair compared to the original Rocky Talkie that goes for 110 each at 220 for the pair. I personally use this mountain radio um, when backpacking and it is fantastic for what it is and what it's capable for while trekking in the woods. That being said, this is a huge upgrade. Uh, Rocky Talkie for me has outperformed all the other big name brands out there and so it is my go-to radio unless you are going with something that's like a 50 watt built into your vehicle. Specs for the GMRS Rocky Talkie are the dimensions is 10.3 by 6.2 by 3.4 centimeters. It weighs about 9.1 ounces so roughly about half a pound. It's got an IP67 waterproofing uh, submerge up to one meter with this radio so that's great you don't have to worry about it being in the elements and you're able to use it in heavy rain or snow it's got a lie-ion 7.4 1800 milliamp hour battery the battery lasts for about four to six days but I've seen it last a lot longer especially if you don't have it on the whole time uh, this is on day seven now and it is still at a hundred percent it was used for roughly about eight hours on and off, not continuously, probably about 30 minutes of chatter, give or take while we are on the road. And it's still at 100%. So the battery's great on this thing. Operating temps are negative 20 Fahrenheit to 120 Fahrenheit. And the base features are a privacy code, channel lock, high low power mode, which I usually keep it on the high power mode a scan mode and a text beep which you can turn on and off. You're also able to use an M3 connector for a um, waterproof headset which is great but don't forget a flat head screwdriver if you are going to use that because you need that to unlock this. You can also attach a handheld mic that Rocky Talkie sells for $65 as well for the GMRS. Additional features are GMRS repeater capability no weather station, no emergency weather station, which you can have set on the Rocky Talkie itself, which does use mo more of the battery, but I've had it for the emergency notifications, so actually uh, play when it does go on in your area, because uh, you can scan for the weather station in your area to be able to hear the weather uh, updates or for the emergency updates where it will just come right through. You have dual channel capability, so you have an A and B. Um, so the benefit of that is that you can be on two different channels at once. And the removable antenna, like so. Which is fairly easy to remove. Some of the pros for this walkie talkie versus this one, which both are great, is that you have the dual capability to have two different channels. So we can have the whole expedition crew on one station and then you can have another station for maybe the person in front and back so you're not getting the chatter. Now when somebody responds to you on the B channel because both will come through, you have about five seconds to respond and it will go directly to them when you uh, talk back. If you don't, it'll default back to A. So you'll always be set in the A channel for talking. But you can flip back and forth manually if you want to. It's just a nice feature to have to be able to respond directly back to that B channel. Battery life, even though it says on the spec form four to six days, it is a lot longer than that. As I said, it's been a lot longer since we used this radio. I have not recharged it and it's still at 100%. So this is by far the best radio out there for the battery life that I have personally used because I've seen other brands that like Midland for instance would die within an hour of use and they have to keep continue charging it. Another thing is that the sound in the Midland was not as clear as the Rocky Talkie when we we're using it out on the field. Pro tip number three, how far you can speak with this thing. I was speaking about three miles away and everything was coming in clear and my voice was transmitting clear to the individual in the car and they're at the bottom of the mountain when we we're at the top and it was flawless. We tried to use the Midland and 
the person couldn't hear half of what was coming through and when it was coming through it was really difficult to hear as well so by far rocky talky wins that one and pro tip number four how rugged this thing is uh, i feel like i can throw this around be out in the elements and not worry about it even if i forget it out in the rain it's something that i won't really worry about this thing is really beefy i like the fact that it doesn't really have a screen on front it does have the led behind this plastic and it just it can take a beating i've had this rocky talkie for instance which has the same technology in the front for over three years now and as you can see i mean it's got some abuse but not really anything now let's get to some of the cons now if you're not comfortable with gmrs or not used to it um it can be intimidating to use the benefit is that rocky talkie does have a youtube uh video and a link that i will put in the description that kind of explains how to use those functions you will want to get one of those licenses. they're about 35 dollars and it's pretty easy to get i will also link how to get that as well and really the only other con that i can see is the headset having to carry a screwdriver if you want to use that functionality uh, i don't so i don't have to worry about it but if you ever did i don't know a lot of people that carry screwdrivers when they go hiking now if you're overlanding i know people keep tools in their car so that's not an issue at all but for somebody just keeping on their backpack that could be a deal breaker for someone unless you're not worried about wearing a headset for this which i'm not so is the rocky talkie worth it for me yes the capability of being able to speak so far away in the battery life there are two reasons why i wanted to get this and so i did and i mean i have great things to say about the original mountain radio so just upgrading to their new five watt it was a no-brainer for me uh is it worth it for you if you're a casual person going to campsites and just using it for something along that long no you can stick with the mountain radio or any other handheld radio now if you're going out in thick wooded areas i would highly recommend something like this or a built-in to your vehicle that pushes something out like 50 watts but that's completely on a different playing field midland does win in that category but for handheld rocky talkie is the one so so for me 